This is the matric IT prac exam for the paper one for 2019, not November, but this is the June one. And we are dealing with our, the last question four, and this is the last video of this video series. So what have we been doing so far? In question 4.1, um, we took this array list, which has like citrus trees and tropical trees and nut trees, and we compiled, we put all those values into array trees, a 2D array, but the first row from one to six, the first six citrus trees are in the first row. And then the first, uh, in the second row, we have all the deciduous trees are in the second row. And in the third one, I think it's all the nut trees and so on. So each row, one to four, row one has different trees to row two and so on. So we populated the array trees in question 4.1. In 4.2, we displayed it in a rich edit with the name of the tree type and then the, the six values for that tree and then the next name type and then the next six. So we displayed basically the array trees array with a bit of the array types in front of it. Now, we want to sort the trees alphabetically. Okay, all the trees in the trees must be sorted as per tree type. So we want to sort just the first row and then just the second row. So again, when we're dealing with this, or again, you're in an exam situation where you're running out of time and you need to like get all the marks, just focus on what you can do. I'm just going to sort the first row. That's it. I'm just going to get the first row working. But they want me to actually delete the last two characters. They want to get rid of that hash with a C at the end. So we're going to delete the last two characters. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to sort the trees array alphabetically per tree. Okay. So I, as I said, I'm just going to work. I'm just going to work with. We, so we're not actually sorting the display. We're just sorting the actual array trees array. And then when we display it by this button, we should see a difference. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to the code, boom, and let's try to do the sort first. Okay, so I'm just going to sort the citrus ones, which, so there are six values. So I is going to go from one to six. Okay, one to six, or one to, I think it's R top. No, R num, I think it's R num. How do I know R num? Well, if you remember from the previous video, R num is a value of six, which is it goes from one to six. So you could do R num as well. So one to six or one to so let's go. Boom. And we need to declare this variable for the for loop. Type integer. Okay, so we're gonna go do the six times. So we are going to loop from one to six. Okay, before that, we actually need to, we need to do the actual sort part. Actually, before we do the sort, I'm actually gonna do that delete part. So we want to delete that part of the word citrus. So as we said, yeah, that's what it looks like. Array list or the array tree in this case. So we want array, array tree. And we're looking at the first row and we're looking at R basically. It's gonna look, so it's gonna be something like that, okay. So what do we wanna do? We wanna delete from array tree. So we wanna delete from array, tree square bracket from the first row but r because we want the first one the orange c and then the next one we want to delete from that array it's array trees i think it is array trees there we go starting at so this is one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight characters in total we want to delete one two three four five six seven from seven for two characters. So we want to go from one before the last character. So we want to go the length of array trees, one comma R. So the length of it minus one will give me my seven and we want to delete two characters. So by doing that, I think we will delete all of these. We can actually test this quickly now. So go through from one to six and delete all of them. So let's run that and see that. that. Boom. So separated. We're going to, that's actually not sorted, but if we display it, you'll see all my trees don't have those little things in the first one only because we only did the first one. Okay. So we did the first one. That's fantastic. Okay. Now that we deleted it. So now that we're ready, now we can do the sort. Now I'm just going to sort that first row. Now we're going to use a selection sort. Here is where you would know your algorithm, hopefully. So I'm going to use for J equals one until one before 
Arnhem because we go till five, one before it. I think that's the one thing. And then we can use I again here yeah, because we finished using it there. And now we're going to go from position J, I think it is, J plus one. J plus one. Yeah, is where you need to learn your algorithm for a sort. Okay, so there's my sort. And begin end. This is the end of the sort loop, which is both of them. It was this end of the R loop. So if array trees, now we're dealing just with the first one, right? We're dealing with the first row only. But if array trees and J, the first one is bigger than array trees. Now I know there's strings, but you can compare strings one comma R. If those two, because we're only dealing with the first row, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're only dealing with the first row. So if those two are, that means they're in the wrong order. Then we must swap it. So we need a string for S temp for the for the swap. So now we must do the swap. So the first thing I do is I record S temp, and that is equal to array trees square bracket one comma R. Let's do the R one there, okay? Then I'm gonna say array trees. Now what I remember is it just, it goes, I'll show you now the little trick. It basically comes down like this. It's a one comma J is gonna to equal to the opposite thing, which is array trees one comma J, and then array trees one comma no, 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 what? that's going to be an R, sorry. I'll show you my trick once I've typed it all out. Equals to S temp. The way I remember my, my, my swap is you set temp to one of the values. So we're only dealing with these two, right? And then you take that value and you shunt it over here. And that equals to the opposite one, with the other one, which would be that. And then that one comes over here. And then S temp makes the full circle. So... If you don't know this, you need to know your selection sort algorithm. So that's your selection sort algorithm. So that'll do the swap, bop, 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 bop. but this is only working for the first row. So there we go. It's going to sort that. And then I think that's it. That'll be the sort done. Okay. And then do they say anything else? Execute the code for the button to display. So we want to actually execute this button at the end. So that means we're going to come over here. So once we've done everything, bop, 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 somewhere over here. For the end of the somewhere over here, we're going to say button. We want to execute this thing, so we want to use the click event, and that's the way we can trigger what it would be that basically triggers the click event for the 4.2. So it would be just as if we were clicking on it. So, this, as we said, we go from one to six and we delete just the, the last two values of the first row in array trees. Then we just sort the first row, this is the first row. It's exactly the same as our, um, our selection sort algorithm, except for we're using a 2D array, but we're only sorting the first row of the 2D array. So there we go. So let's just run that and see if that works. So we separate by type and we display. Let's look. So orange, lemon. So if I sort it alphabetically, uh, citrus has changed. Now, is that alphabetical? G, K, L, L. Uh, yes, that looks alphabetic. That looks alphabetically correct. Do you see how it works? It took away the last two characters and it sorted it. So I got it working for the first row. Remember, you're running out of time. You need to make sure you get the marks. So I did the delete. I did what I could. I did the delete, and then I did a sort, some sort of sort algorithm. So I'm going to at least get the marks. Now I've got a few more minutes. I can maybe finish it off. So now I want to repeat this whole process four times. All of this stuff that I just did now. I want to repeat it four times because this only works for one row. So I'm going to make another loop. Let's call it K because I don't want to get it confused with the I and the J over here. Let's call it K. K goes from one to four. Or in this case, it would go from one to, I think it's R top. I think R top was that variable that they made go to four. Yeah, R tops is goes to four. Okay. So that's what we want to do. So, boom, so R types, one to R type. You could use that one as well. So for K, we declare K as a variable and I'm going to go, okay, do all of this again. 
Don't click on it again. Just go. This is the end of the K loop. Now watch what I do here. So I, I've got it working perfectly for one row. Now I want to do it four times. So let's go. Now this is only doing row one. I actually want to do row one, then two, then three, then four, which means I want to change that one to a K. And we want to find the length of one. That one must be a K. Okay, that one must stay one because that that's not one referring to the position. That's just minus one extra position. That's the, the how much you must delete from the length of it minus one. So not that one. And then I come here. Okay, everything looks fine. But instead of one, we want the first row, then the second row. Then so we want the kth row. So wherever see we wherever see these ones, we are just replacing the ones inside the the inside the two D array, changing them to k's just by doing that little trick it'll repeat doing that where k is a one and then it'll do it again where k is a two then it'll do it again where k is a three and so on. so it'll do it for each and every row and so we did all the hard work for one row and then it's that quick and easy just to do it for all of them so let's display it but now let's sort it hey 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 all of them don't have little hash things at the end and look, that looks alphabetical that looks alphabetical that that looks uh, you can double check i think that looks spot on so when you're dealing with 2d arrays and especially when you're dealing with lots of stuff individual with individual rows or individual columns my advice is get one row or one column in this case we were dealing with rows get one working perfectly with displaying or sorting or whatever you want to do once you've done that perfectly then you do your outer loop of how many times you want to repeat doing that and then wherever you had a one, you replace it with the outer loops variable. That tends to be the best way to handle these type of questions. Yo, this was a tough paper. Like all the, the, the last question was quite tough. It was quite challenging. But if you knew your algorithms, you could do it. The, set, the OOP question was quite easy. Um, SQL was quite easy. But the first question had some tricky stuff there too as well. So it, it's a nice balanced paper. But the key here is know, know your algorithms. Know your text file algorithm. Know your sort algorithm. Um, if you know your, your your stuff like that, you know your SQL, you know your 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 OOP, um, your methods and stuff like that, you can actually get a lot of marks with the stuff that you know, and then it gives you time to work out the stuff that you haven't seen before that you need to actually plan and work out. Okay, so that's my strategy that I would recommend for your exam paper. So hopefully this whole paper series has been good for you. Hopefully you can learn how to do this type of question. Hopefully you can be more prepared for your exams. And so when you go right, good luck, write well. If you need more practice or for some more exam papers, go to our YouTube channel, click on the playlist option, and you should see other grade 12 exam papers that you can work through. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.